Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and again, I'm answering questions from my stuff. Uh, this, come from, this comes from Ian. He says, hey, Borna, I really love your show, and I've been thinking of some video ideas. When did technology first start to be a job for you instead of a hobby? Hmm. Is technology ever bad? Also, if you could, do a tour of your current setup. Um, so let me answer these and uh, do the best I can. When did technology first start to be a job? Uh, goes back to college. I didn't get my first computer until I, I, I joined college, joined uh, the University of Florida. 1992, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to, uh, to IRC, oddly enough, um, in 1993. It's like my beginning. It was like the second, second. It was like the spring semester of my freshman year. So it was like 92, 93 ish. He introduced me to IRC and chat. I was like, wow, there's there's actually other people over there. He's like, yeah, blah 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 blah. blah. And we were all about. I was all about tech at the time. We it, it first started out to be a social thing, but then I started venturing out into different channels about Linux and scripting and. You know how to how to take apart your PC with a toothpick, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's how it all started for me. I actually went to college to get a degree in mechanical engineering, but computer technology and IT and, and all the stuff I'm talking to you guys about now was actually a hobby for me going throughout college. I actually didn't get trained on this stuff, except later in my degree where I got to do some programming, but uh, that was about it. Um, it started to be a job about 90, 95-ish. I want to say 95 or 96 is when I got a job at the local computer lab in college. And I worked as what we call OPS or Circa OPS. Um, Circa was a, an acronym for the Center for Instructional Resources and Computing Activities. Wow, I actually remember that at the University of Florida. It's probably still there. Um, by a different name. But I was working as an operator there. I would help people. We had giant labs of uh, VAX VMS terminals, regular Windows computers, and a small section of Macs. And we had uh, network printing and stuff. So it was my job to maintain the printers, answer their questions, maintain the lab, fix all the computers, do all this stuff. That's how. That's when I first got paid doing that stuff. I was going to school and doing that. Um, so that's when it first became a job. But it wasn't that hard. I mean, the job was... You would sit at a desk and answer people's questions, and then when they leave, you clean up after them. I mean, that was the gist of it. I mean, it came easy to me. Then I later moved into training. Um, I was promoted to what's called a training coordinator at the University of Florida, and uh, that's when I trained students on different topics. I was teaching them on the basics of computing, Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Office, all the Office tools, uh, Unix, basics of Unix commands. So I taught all these courses to students and the general public all while going to college. So that was another job and I kind of took that experience and brought it with me into consulting and tech support and what I do now for HP, all that experience kind of helped. Um, so that, that's how technology kind of transitioned for me as a hobby to a job to a career. Is technology ever bad? Yes. Today a story came out about people pirating a version of uh, Adobe, I think it's CS4, Creative Suite 4. Um, there was a Trojan embedded in that. Trojans and viruses are bad. I had actually had a job analyzing viruses for a small company called Command Software, which used FPROT for their virus engine. Um, and uh, I was a virus analyst. That was back in the days of the macro viruses. So I know a lot about boot sector viruses. That was where I started. Boot sector viruses and really nasty stuff you don't see now. But then macro viruses took over too. Uh, that's when viruses were pretty much malicious. They didn't want to steal your personal info. They just wanted to kill your computer. So that's kind of what's happening now. Technology can be bad. There's malicious uses for technology. I mean, just look at look at the world today. A lot of the a lot of the evil that comes out of the world utilizes some technology that's actually meant for good. So the technology itself may not be bad, but it can be twisted and manipulated for, for evil purposes. Um, could I do a tour of my current setup? I've already done a tour, so what I'm going to do is I'll put the link in the description to the Ustream video of that tour. I've already done a tour. 
and uh, you can take a look at that and hopefully this answers all your questions. All right, Ian, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Hopefully I didn't ramble too long, five minutes, not too bad. All right, take care.